You're telling me you're pregnant? How'll I explain it to your fiancé? You're such a disgrace, Nora. We're doomed! I swear, I don't know anything about it, Dad. I've always been in the house during the past few months. Please, believe me. Nora was utterly shocked by the question. The conception of a child without any involvement with a man left her genuinely clueless. You are just like your mother, Nora. You did what she did. You've ruined me. Dad, please. Henry snatches the baby from Nora. The trash belongs to the garbage. No! While Henry managed to steal the baby boy, Nora fled with the baby girl. But life wasn't done playing dirty on her yet. I found the buried child hours after birth. You couldn't protect your own child, Nora. Can you please tell me your name? I'm Nora's father, Henry Smith. The Anderson family looks at Nora in stunned silence. Henry Smith? What's he doing here? Miranda and Rachel share a sly look. The tension in the air left was visible. Ah, it's the perfect chance to expose a stain in the Anderson reputation. You know him, Simon. It means they are family. Quick, go and open the door, Rachel. Of course, I'm the youngest. I should be the one to greet our guests. Rachel, it's really not necessary. I don't want to meet Henry. Why won't you? He's your father. Go on, Rachel, open the door. We shouldn't let him wait any longer. Realizing Miranda's strategy, Rachel senses a conflict. Whoever the man is, he's not on good terms with the family. She couldn't wait for the drama to unfold. Oh, it took you forever to open these damn doors. Are you trying to insult me? You might as well say I'm not welcome here. Why wouldn't you be? Please accept our apologies for making you wait, Mr. Smith. Don't take a step more, Henry. What's the meaning of this, Nora? If you have something to say, let's talk here. You don't have to come inside. Is this how the Andersons treat their guests? Stopping family members from entering? Do you even count as a family anymore? Mom, your son-in-law is here to visit you. Let me pass. Let him in, Nora. This is the first time we've met in all these years, Mom. It's all Yvette's fault. Mr. Smith, Yvette's no longer with us. We should refrain from badmouthing those who can't defend themselves. And, well, since she's not here, allow me to make it clear. We're no longer a family. I know you're upset that I remarried, but it was all Yvette's idea. She practically forced me to remarry for Nora's sake. True. I have met her when she was alive, and we instantly stuck together. She treated me like a sister, which is why she entrusted me with Nora after her death. We could be such a wonderful family to each other. Did Yvette arrange for you to remarry before she died? Spot on. It was a blessing to meet Yvette while she was alive. Our family may not be the largest, and I could never fill her shoes, but I'd love for you to see me as a daughter moving forward, Mrs. Anderson. Losing our connection because of Yvette's passing would be a tragedy. We hold family in high regard, and with Nora living under your roof, it only strengthens those ties. We're fully on board with that. A blessing? Her chest tightens at the mere thought of Yvette, her daughter, considering such a scenario from her deathbed. Till today, Mrs. Anderson has been regretting her decision of ever letting Yvette run from the house and marry a man like Henry Smith. Mom, never in this lifetime will I ever settle for less when it comes to love. Even if I die, I won't let my husband remarry. In life and death, I will be full of passion. We aren't related by blood, so we aren't family. You went looking for your next wife when my sister wasn't even dead yet? Are you completely heartless? Mom, Simon, I'm sorry you don't have the heart to recognize me as family, but I'm still Nora's father and the relationship between us can never be destroyed. He's right, Mrs. Anderson. No matter what, he's still Yvette's husband and Nora's father. So that makes him family no matter how you look at it. Even though Yvette is no longer around, it's not right to cut off family ties with them. Stay out of it, Miranda. It's none of your business. Oh, come on, Melissa. Don't we know a family like that? Mr. Walker's first wife was from the Lane family. After she died, he married Ms. Lopez. His second wife is very close to the Lanes, so the Lanes treat her like family. 
Mr. Walker's son from his first marriage has now inherited his company, and he treats his stepmother pretty well. These are our family affairs, Miranda. If there's nothing else you and Rachel need, then the two of you can leave. You are pushing this too far, Mr. Smith. Whether we're family or not, we have established it long ago. So what are you here for? Come on, Simon. All I'm asking for is a fair share. A fair share? Yes. If we're family, then you should treat us like family and be a little more generous with us. <laughs> you must be dreaming, Henry. No, I don't do that. I want my share of the profits from the carefree pills. They were developed by Yvette. Since she was my wife, we should both inherit what she left behind, right? Not Mom, Simon, or any of you, really. If we were a family, it wouldn't be a problem, but since we're not, we can't provide the Carefree Pills formula for free. After splitting the price between all of us, I should get about 35%. You're not getting a penny from us. Aren't I? Well, then I have no choice but to knock it off in public. I'm sure people must be extremely interested in peeking at how the great Anderson operates their business. You won't do any of that. It's between us. And I want to keep it among us. Yvette was my wife. She discovered that pill, and I deserve a cut. Or I can propose another offer. What is it? My younger daughter needs a better mentor at NYU. She wants to work with Professor Athena. I'd be a bit more generous if you could help her contact the most renowned surgeon on the planet. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. If you don't remember, she's a surgeon. Too busy to go around babysitting spoiled brats. Look who's talking. At least she doesn't go around partying and hooking up with rich bachelors. Do you even know how you'd come with a child? You... We are not here to discuss the past. Your hypocrisy disgusts me. Keep insulting me and bear the consequences, Nora. I haven't even told you off properly yet for taking your mother's carefree pill formula without my consent. What do you mean, Nora? Nothing. You don't have to pay attention to that brat. Either draft a contract for the carefree pills as dividends and give me the money right now, or get Athena to mentor my daughter. Pick one. Nora, what is it? I'm not here to play daddy. I'll show the world how you all do business. The public will take my side. You're hogging the profits of my wife's creation. Are we? Can you prove it? Do you have any evidence to support your claim? Nora, dear, we're all family here. There's no need for you to be this harsh. Can we all just sit down and discuss it calmly? There is nothing to discuss. The carefree pill belongs to the Andersons. And none other. No, it belongs to your mother. You can't steal it from us, Nora. I will... If you don't get out of this house in five minutes, I'll call the police. Mr. Smith, you've made some very big claims today. Do you have any evidence? If not, then this is nothing but slander, and I won't mind discussing it with my legal team. Can you prove it? I, um, doesn't matter. No matter who the carefree pill belongs to, we're ultimately still family. What's wrong with helping my second daughter find a new mentor? Are you going to leave by yourself, or do you want me to make you go? Don't be too smug about this, Nora. I'm your father. You can never get rid of me. Even if you kick me out today, I'm not done with you yet. What would happen when the truth of Henry and Wendy comes out? Will Nora come out on top, or will Henry's pursuit shake the Andersons? Don't let your excitement die! The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.